Kendrick and Larisha are supposed to get married next month, but Larisha has some concerns, so she called the psychic. And the psychic told her that Kendrick was a cheater. Take a look. I feel that Kendrick has been cheating on me. I has been, been catching him on his phone, going through his phone. When I come in the room, he's hiding his phone. I feel like he's doing something. I don't have actual proof, but because of my past relationships, I feel he is doing something. I need to know what's going on. I've been with Kendrick over a year. We have four kids, four of mine, and two of his, so we have six total. We have been engaged for two months, and we're supposed to get married next month. So I don't want to marry a man that has been cheating on me, playing me. Every little thing is an argument. Everything that goes on around the house, we argue. It can be little, big, it's an argument. If I ask to go somewhere, he asks me why. How long am I going to be out? I'm cheating, I'm seeing somebody, I'm doing stuff. It's just he's constantly accusing me. It's the same I'm accusing him every day. He's doing the same with me. A few months ago, I had called a psychic, and the psychic had talked to me and told me that Kendrick has been cheating previously with an ex. The psychic was able to tell me every detail about Kendrick that made me feel that this psychic is telling the truth. I told Kendrick what the psychic said, and he was like, I don't know what the psych is talking about. I never cheated on you, I promise. I love you. I have no reason to cheat on you, but still in my heart, I feel that he has cheated on me. Before we came on the show, I explained to him that I had cheated on him in our relationship. He was very upset, angry with me. I didn't really have a reason to give him why I cheated because I'm, I just done it just because I feel that he's cheating on me. Kendrick, I hope that whatever the results come out, you can forgive me, that we can move on in our relationship. I promise that I'll be faithful and honest to you to this day on and do everything that I need to do to keep our relationship going. And I love you. I came to you because I know I never cheated. I never, I'm loyal, I'm respectful, I'm honorable. You know, I never want to do nothing to hurt anybody. I feel like if you're going to cheat, you don't need to be in a relationship. You just be single. That way you won't hurt nobody. Nobody's feelings will get involved. Um, now, I found it kind of interesting on the tape where she's like, she wouldn't want to find out that you cheated on her because she doesn't want to be disrespected. She doesn't want to be played like that. But then she comes out and goes, oh, by the way, I cheated on him. Cheated on me, right. And when she told me that, you know, I'm like, wow, I called the show to prove to you I didn't cheat, that I'm loyal, I'm faithful. And then, oh, well, I'm going to answer these questions. So I asked her, you know, well, you need to take the question too. If I feel like I need to go on the show and prove to you that I'm loyal, I'm respectful, I honor you, I love you, I want you to do the same thing for me. And it kind of went to, oh, well, why do I need to take the test? And... <laughs> Uh, you know what? Well, I have something to tell you. And I'm like, oh, Lord, what, what is it that you have to tell me? And then she let me know, well, I cheated on you. So I'm just like... Then did, she, did she say why she cheated on you? Well, she told me <laughs> that she called a psychic, and a psychic told her that I was with somebody two years older than, older than me and that we was hugging and trying to get back together. When soon she told me, I'm like, well, I haven't been with nobody older than me besides you, so... That threw me off right there, and then she said, on social media, I'm hiding and talking to people. Well, the only person I know that I talk to on social media, besides her, would be like my father who lives in Florida, so I just don't understand. You and know? it was your idea to come on the show. It was my idea to come on the show, Because yeah. she kept badgering you about that you're cheating on her. Every day. And her reason for cheating, now this is an all-time low, a psychic told her a psychic. that you might be cheating. A psychic, yes. She spent $20 for five or six minutes. That's $120 we could have spent on the kids, on bills. Our trip to the Bahamas, our wedding. So for her to do that and not come to me, and baby, I think you cheating. Well, I'll tell you every day, I never cheat on but you. But do you I never even believe you. the psychic story? I don't believe psychic. I barely believe in ghosts. So believe in a psychic. And I know that Miss Cleo was a psychic, and she was the fakest psychic I ever known. Right. Hopefully, I feel like everything's out there, and we can move forward past this, get married. and. So my question. Question you is if she fails for more than what she's told you, do, would you still want to marry her next month? I, I don't know. I can't say. I know right now, one time, you know, I maybe can forgive you two times, but three times, I'd say you strike out. All right. Let's meet Larisha. All men are.
are cheaters. That's well, why I you feel know like I, I don't feel. cheat. You know that I love you, I respect you, and you know I will never do nothing to hurt you, Larissa. You know I go to work every day. I come home to you. So why I'm do you hide you. stuff from me? I why do I have... catch you on your phone? I'll be on my phone just phone like you. I get on, look at ESPN if I don't want to watch the TV. I might play a spade so game. So why do you hide it? Why do you hide it? Do not get up. You hide your phone. Why do you do that? You're not cheating. Why do you do that? You know that I love you and I respect you. I will never do nothing to hurt you. We have six kids together. Why would I want to put that in jeopardy? Why would I want to put our relationship in jeopardy? I put too much in to just throw it away. And you know this. You know that I love you. And I know that you love me. I know that you cheated. And I forgive you for that. But I want to move on. I want us to be happy. I want our family to grow. And I, you know that I love you. I respect everything that you do. You're the best woman that ever came into my life. And I don't want to lose that. And you, the first thing that you said when you came out here is that all men are cheaters. All men are cheaters. Okay. I feel See, all right men there, you're, I've been hurt you're so wrong. Much. I feel you're all wrong. Men cheat. Because I would say, uh, you know, I'm not a cheater. Most of the men that I know that are involved in relationships that I've known for a long time, they're not cheaters. So, no, not all men are cheaters. I even asked my wife. I remember she went to see a psychic before we got married, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, and I don't care how many people I piss off, psychics are all. Okay. Um, how many times you cheated on them? Two, three times. Two, three times. How many times? I knew. Two or three times. I knew. How many times you cheat on her? I've never cheated on her. Never even got mad and wanted to think about cheating. Is it? Is the reason that you confess is because you were coming on the show and you weren't going to get busted out anyways? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty damn honest, man. <laughs> Except I think it was more than two or three times. Yes. <laughs> Larisha came here and she took a lie detector test. Uh, the first thing she did, she confessed to having sexual contact and intercourse with that one male twice okay other than the two times with that one male since you've been in a relationship with Kendrick have you had any other sexual physical contact with any other males you answered no other than the two times with that one male since in a relationship have you had sexual intercourse with any other males she answered no she told the truth But, and I'm just making a guess here, and I have no way of proving it, or I just met you. I think this one male that you're having sex with, I think it's probably on a regular basis, okay? So, I think it's more than two times. And I'm not even a psychic. I could have paid you $20, Steve. You ain't no more than two times. What's that? It wasn't no more than two or three times. So, that's why I passed Three's the test. Three's tops. Well, I no, but that's it. a confession. Two, I passed, you yeah. confessed, so we didn't really test you on that because you confessed. So you passed for not sleeping with anybody else. Exactly. But, but the guy that you, you did could've... sleep with, you could have slept with a hundred times. So how many times did you sleep with him? Since we've been together, two yes. times, two or three times. Two or three times. What made you stop sleeping with him? Because I realized what I have. I realized Kendra's a good guy. Since we've been together, he done. We've been through so much together. He's good with my kids. He treats me good. Kendrick, uh, he came here to take the lie detector test. And because you have been accusing him, right? It's, he has been accusing me also. Right. Vice well, person. for good reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Kendrick came here and we asked him, while in a relationship with Larisha, have you ever had sexual contact with any females? He said no. While in a relationship with Larisha, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any females? He answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Kendrick told the truth. I told you. And, and I would say this, I do think uh, you woke up and said, you know what, I do have a good guy, I can't do this anymore. But for you, what I certainly would do is, you're supposed to get married next month. I, I, would, I would consider pushing that back a little. Uh, <laughs> Pick a door time. You walk out with your woman, 
Or you walk out, you start a new I, life. I, I, my heart's already broken, so I don't know what it's going to take to mend a broken heart, but you got a lot of fixing to do if we walk out this door I'll together. Fix whatever I need to. You got a lot to do, because I love you, and I'm going to try to make this work, Marisha. Love I just got to have faith and hope. Good luck to you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve.